Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm on Narts here, and I haven't made a video in a week, which is a pretty long time for me. I, I usually like to make videos a couple times a week, but I've been very busy with school. Uh, you know, I just got into high school, and that's the reason why, so I hope you guys can continue to watch my videos and forgive me for that. But in return, I'm making a very special video that I think you guys are going to enjoy a lot, and I'm going to be sharing 10 tips for making intros, and I don't want to claim that I'm good at intros, but it's probably what I'm most recognized for on my channel, and I thought you guys would benefit if I shared some tips that I've learned for making intros and that I can share with you guys. So enough with the intro, let's get into it, 10 tips for making intros, I hope this is going to help. So the first tip, and this is very easy to do, render with 1080p resolution. I've been doing that for the past month and it's really paid off. It might take at most two times as long to render, but it's definitely worth it. Obviously it makes it better definition, more HD. And I would definitely recommend rendering 1080p resolution. So that's something you can do easily. On to tip number two, always render with aim and occlusion and glow illumination. If you don't know what those two things are, maybe you're not very familiar with Cinema 4D, but for those of you who are going to be using Cinema 4D, making a 3D intro, which the majority of people making intros are, um, you should be familiar with those things. There are two things you can add to the render settings, and even occlusion gives much more realistic shadows, and global illumination gives better lighting and makes the light kind of bounce around. It's hard to explain. There's videos you can look up if you're more interested in aim and occlusion and global illumination, but those are definitely two things you should add to your render settings in Cinema 4D. Um, and I rarely, over 90% of the time, I use those two settings. So it's definitely worth it. If you're trying to cut down render time, that is not the right way to do it by getting rid of one of those two settings. All right, on to tip number three which ties into tip number two, and it's for the Cinema 4D render time, you want to aim somewhere between two to ten hours, and that's a pretty uh, large range of time, but what it really is is either do two to five hours or ten hours. If it's over ten hours, you can render it overnight, which is good and it will be ready in the morning, and for two to four hours or two to five hours, you can uh, render it at the beginning of the day, do some activity, and then come back to during the afternoon or night, and it will be rendered for you. And if you're rendering under two hours, it's not like you can't do that, but there might be some problem with your intro for uh, lighting might not be very good, not good enough settings. All I can say is most of my renders for the animation fall somewhere around two to ten hours and that doesn't mean you can't render for longer or shorter that's just a number I would like to say that I usually like to stick by alright tip number four is go slow pretty general you can interpret it in different ways but the way I like to think of it is sit down relax have some food have some drinks and don't rush to intro and enjoy yourself uh, you know you can take breaks obviously talk to friends um, it doesn't have to be, you don't have to consider it as work, you can consider it as a hobby. So that's my fourth tip, go slow. And my fifth tip uh, kind of also ties into that, and it's called the three day rule. And this basically means that the intro should take a total of three days from absolutely starting from scratch, nothing there, to final product ready to upload to YouTube. And don't think that I'm amazing at making intros and I can just, you know, make it in an hour and I'm done. It's just a spark and it's really easy. Because if not, it takes me three days to make the intro usually. I start off at the same uh, point that you do. And if you're taking three days, if you're taking less than three days to make an intro, or less than one day, uh, and your intros aren't turning out very well, that would be the reason that you're not taking enough time. And... All I can say again, I usually take three days. On the first day, I make it in Cinema 4D, 
and basically plan it in my head before I do any of that. Just imagine how the intro is going to look, find inspiration on YouTube and other sources, and then I make it in Cinema 4D, which usually takes a couple hours, and then I render it in Cinema 4D, which also takes another hour. So I usually spend the first day, maybe even the first two days, uh, planning, finding inspiration, and making it in Cinema 4D. Now, step number two, or day number two, is importing the Cinema 4D animation into After Effects and obviously editing it, editing it in After Effects, maybe adding a background, adding flares, adding different cool effects, and finding more inspiration. For example, Video Copilot, also watching tutorials throughout the whole process of making intros. It's good to watch tutorials. Um, you can follow the tutorial and make that your intro, or you can get inspired by the tutorial. And I usually spend the third day of making the intro on sound effects and making small revisions in After Effects and basically perfecting the intro, rendering it multiple times until it looks absolutely perfect. So generally for that step, tip number five, take about three days to do an intro, give or take one day, I guess. And I don't spend the whole day, obviously, well, a couple hours a day. Because I don't want to spend the whole day. That'll just get boring and, you know, tedious. And tip number six, bring something new to the table, which is kind of just a corny uh, metaphor. But basically what it means is for every intro, add some type of new effect. Add something new. Don't just change the color, change the font change the text. You want to um, add something new. Maybe it's new for you. Maybe the first time you experimented with lens flares or new in general. This whole new thing you found in After Effects or Cinema 4D. But if you have ambitions of if you want to be a really good intro designer you have to be original and you have to add something new and your intros can't look like everyone else's. Um, not saying that my intros are that, not saying my intros are original, but that's just something to go for if you're trying to be really good just to add some type of new effects. Alright, tip number seven, I mentioned this before, watch a hell of tutorials. This will definitely help you if you feel like you don't have any more ideas. Some places to go are videocopilot.com, amateurmedia.com, grayscale gorilla, You've probably heard of him, um, AE Tuts and CG Tuts, and and YouTube. Those are a few places you can go to find tutorials. And um, tip number eight, which is kind of similar, is watch intros for inspiration, which will help give ideas for your intros. But don't copy them completely. But just you can get ideas. Some of my favorite intro designers on YouTube. I'm probably not mentioning all of them, but Trooper FX, Drew Boy, Drew Boy X, Original Three Media and iDigital Universe and Project 40, they're all really good, but there's probably a lot more that I'm not mentioning, so don't take offense if I didn't say a name, those are just some that I can think of right now. Um, number nine, kind of general, but ask friends for feedback. You know, if, if you have people who are interested in intros that are also your friends, just show them the intro and they might be able to tell you something about it, well, how to improve it that you didn't notice. Uh, I like to do that before I upload it to YouTube. And step number 10, go clean. Um, don't add anything unnecessary. Uh, try to make it not like random, but just try to make it clean. That's a pretty general tip. You, you guys have your own definitions of clean, but those are basically my 10 tips for making intros. I hope this helps. If it did, please like the video and comment and that's about it for me YouTube 10 tips for making intros hope this helped and thank you for watching